Welcome to complete SQL uh, video series. In this video, I am going to discuss about the uh, how you can insert the data uh, into the table by using the store procedure concept. And this uh, concept, uh, this process is using in the real time to insert the data into the table uh, because I already discussed uh, in the uh, last couple of the session that uh, we are not inserting any data into the table manually. The data is inserted by the user uh, via the application or uh, any third party tool. So uh, basically when in the back end uh, we create the store procedure and we integrate into the front end. So once the user submitted the data uh, by the application uh, or the web pages, the data is automatically got shaped into the back end table. For example, suppose I have this uh, uh, Google uh, form. Okay, So this form is basically used to uh, open the new account. Okay, so whenever you put the first name and the last name, the username, and uh, so username they basically check in the database. Okay, so if already available, uh, they will give the it's already available and the password and confirm password. So and when you press the next button and you press the submit button, all this data which is by entered you is basically saved into the database. So how is working? So in the backend, we need to create the store procedure and uh, the front-end developer, they uh, use that procedure and link into the application. So that the process I'm going to discuss here in the detail. And this is the very important if you working in the uh, real time, okay, because they sometimes the front-end developer, they request to create uh, this type of the store procedure as a request, okay. so. Uh, let's jump to the SQL Server, okay, and uh, uh, you can see I al already have this uh, table, okay, so this is the student table I have, okay, so suppose if you want to integrate this table into the front end like the uh, first name and the uh, last name and the email, so how you can do that? So before proceeding the uh, store procedure, uh, you need to just look up the structure of the table, so just you can click and uh, press Alt F1. So you will get the structure of the table. I already discussed in the detail in the last video. So here we have the student ID, first name, last name and the email. So here you can see a student ID have the uh, identity column is there. You can see identity, student ID, seed one, increment one. Okay, so uh, you no need to worry about the student ID. So you need to worry about the uh, first name, last name and the email. So if you, uh, for this uh, you need to create the store procedure. So just uh, you can create the store procedure. I given the procedure name that is the insert student record. And uh, first I am checking if this procedure is already available. Uh, then I am dropping it and again recreating this procedure. So the procedure we have the three column. Uh, okay, so a student name for last name and email. For this I am creating three variable input parameter variable that is the student first name, student last name and the student email and here I am inserting into the table okay so first name, last name and the email and the whatever variable is used so you can see a student last name, student email and let's create this procedure in this database and uh, see after the execution what will happen so now you can see this table and uh, now we have the five record okay so now I am going to execute this store procedure by using the execute command uh, we have the deepak kumar deepak dot k at the rate gmail dot com so once you execute it okay so now you can see this uh, new record deepak kumar will be inserted into uh, this table record now suppose we have the uh, uh, pande guruji okay we have the guruji and uh, Pande Guruji at the rate gmail.com. So once you execute this one, this record will be inserted into uh, this table. So now you execution completed. So now you can see this new record is got inserted. So like this, uh, you can uh, achieve the requirement and this type of the requirement, this type of the question definitely you will get in the interview, like how you can create the procedure to insert the data into the table and uh, real time use cases also this is very uh, informatic this is a very useful so uh, thank you so much for the watching this video 
uh, i will meet again in next one thank you so much